Have you ever gotten tired of seeing the default button style on Godot and being like, man, I wish I had time to make it look better, but worry not, cause I'm here for you. Today we'll look into how we can quickly give the UI a better look. We're gonna be using themes and theme override to build our UI elements. Cause if you think about it, buttons are a big part of the UI. I mean, which game do you wanna play more right now? The game on the left or the one on the right? even though they're both unfinished. They're not even games, they're just UI in an unfinished project. Now, to start this off, you're going to have to need a user interface. Now, I'm going to make one from scratch, but you can apply this to your already existing user interface. And I think I'm happy with what I've got here, and I think I, we can agree that everyone can get to this part. This is really nothing special happening here. You know, we got a label, two buttons. And by the way, if you're wondering how I got this menu set up, it's just Basically, I chose a preset in the anchor and for example, this is how an item is going to be by default. And if you go up here, choose a preset and toggle this option here. And now if I adjust the anchors and try to move it, if you hold all, then if you resize, both sides are going to be resized. So that's useful. And I'm going to bring it down a little bit and you can see the anchor points are actually moving with the item. This is useful because if I run this and try to resize this, you can see that the buttons stay the same size. So now let's say we want to theme this button here, right? I could go in my inspector tab and under theme overrides, I could change all of these options here. For example, on, under the styles, I could go and change the pressed property here. I could click on this empty and select new style box flat and choose a color here. For example, let's say you want to choose red. So now if I play this, if I click on this button, it's going to turn red and you could style your game like that. And that would mean you have to repeat the same process for this button as well. But the more efficient way to do this would be to use themes. And that's why these are called overrides. So you would make a theme here right? And you can see it brings up the themes menu here or themes panel and you can choose whatever you want to change here. You have label, you have button, you have toggle button, line edit, text edit, everything. And then the idea is when you done with that theme, you can just drag and drop it on this other button and it would have the same theme as this button. So let's say we want to theme this button here. I'm going to click on it and it's going to open the themes panel for me here because it already has a theme attached to it. You want to make sure you add a button type here. You can do that either by clicking this plus icon here or by clicking this color picker icon here and then choosing the type you want to change. So let's say you want to change the default button here. And then on this uh, panel here, you can see the different styles that you can change. So you can see there's a normal style here, which is basically the default appearance of the button. So to change that, what I'm going to do is click this plus icon here, and then you can see it's going to show empty. I'm going to click that and choose new style box flat. And if you click that, it's going to open that in the inspector panel. Now here we can do a lot of stuff like change the background color, the border width, the border uh, color color, radius, margin, shadow, and all that stuff. To start us off, let's go ahead and give it a color. Um, let's say I'm going to give it a blue color and let's make, let's make it so that if you click this button, it's going to go to a darker shade of color or darker shade of blue. So for that, you would have to click this uh, pressed here and what you want to do is you could go ahead and create a new style box but often it's it's much faster to just drag this here because you're trying to copy the already styled button right you don't want to do everything from scratch so you want to click this and if you try to change this right now you can see the normal style is also going to be changed which is not what we want so what we want to do is click on this uh, arrow here and then we want to click on make unique so this is going to be a different resource than this. So you want to make sure you click on this and change the color to a darker shade. Notice how it's not going to update here anymore because this is the normal style and not the pressed one. You can only see this one only when you click on it. So now if you run it and I click on it, you can see it goes to that darker theme. But notice how when I hover over it, it's going to like change to a different, completely different thing. And that is because it's already using, it's still using the default theme for hover, which we can change by clicking on this plus icon and then drag the normal. This time we do not have to make it unique. And now if we hover on it, nothing really changes. 
and I click on it, you can see it goes dark. If you want to get rid of this border thing, that's just the focus thing. You can just click on this focus and then you're going to have to choose style box empty. And now you can see if I click on it, it behaves like how we want it to behave. So now actually let's give it a 3D look. And first I'm going to try to replicate the thumbnail of this video. You can do whatever style or whatever color you want, but I'm going to go with a 3D color. So sorry, a 3D style. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the border width and on the bottom, I'm going to increase this number by something like 15 and on the border, I'm going to give it a color, which I'm going to sample from this original color, but give it a darker, a darker version of uh, this color, which you can already see it's already looking a little bit 3D. And I'm going to give it some border radius as well. You can play with this as much as you want to give the best result that you're looking for. But I think something like this should work for me. So yeah, you can already see that's working pretty decent for me. Now I'm going to go ahead and give it a pressed style. So I'm going to click this here. So remember we clicked on make unique. So this is going to be completely different than this one. Uh, we don't want that because we don't want to repeat all this again. I'm going to drag this here. And because now I've dragged it, we have to do press unique again. So now what I want to do is make it so that give it an illusion that we pressed it. So what you want to do is go here and we want to remove that border right on the bottom i'm gonna add a trick here i'm gonna give it border width on top 15 and on color what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna bring down the opacity so you can see it's kind of working like an illusion basically and that basically should work like a 3d button that's basically the simplest way you can make an illusion of a 3d button now first i'm gonna make sure i copy this to the hover so it doesn't act weird so if we play this it should work like a 3d button yeah you can see it's pretty decent you know it's nothing crazy but it works fine so now if you want this for the button for the settings as well you want to click that and go to the themes and you want to drag this uh, theme resource here. So this is actually the previous one that I was making. So if you want to save this current one, what you want to do is go to the themes and save as, let's say my theme uh, two. And so now if I go here on my second button here and drag this theme two, you can see they have the exact same style. So let's say you don't like the color of this button, right? You don't have to go through every single one and change the color. You can just open up your theme and then select the button from top here and then go to the color that you want to change. This one here, for example, I don't know, let's say we want to give it a little bit of a nicer color, right? Also change the border, I don't know, do whatever you want, make it darker. You can see they all change. Now let's say you don't like the font on these buttons. You can just go to the themes and then on the font section, click this plus icon here, just drag your font in there and you can see it just works fine. Now, if you want to change a labels font separately, then you would have to go to your theme and you want to add a type. And this time it's going to be a label. You click that and then the same process. You drag your font here and you can see it doesn't change because you have to set the theme on the UI item. So I'm going to just drag my font here. You can see it works just fine. You can change the size of it as well, but I would rather do that actually in the overrides so that you don't, you don't need a big text like this in every label you add, right? So now because you've stayed so far in the video, I'm going to give you a cool tip to add a cool background without adding a texture. I'm going to go to my control node and add a panel node. And I'm just make, basically going to make sure that it's covering the entire screen. And I'm going to bring it all the way back here. And on theme overrides, I'm going to go and add a style box flat right here. Now in this style, I'm going to select a new style box texture and the texture I'm going to select gradient texture 2D. And here I'm going to open this panel up and basically choose 
two different colors, whatever color you like the most. I'm just going to color pick these from here. And I'm going to change the fill to radial just like this. Now I'm going to swap these. And I think I'm kind of happy with that. Maybe, maybe make this one a little bit lighter. That should work. So there you go. If you can see, as you can see, it's basically a decent UI, in my opinion. It's definitely looking better than the one we had in the start. Of course, that depends on your game that you're trying to make, you know, artistic preferences. But yeah, basically, that's it. So thank you for watching. And I really hope you enjoyed and learned something in this tutorial. Leave a comment and press the like button and tell me what you'd like to see in the future videos and as always thanks for watching and see you soon